Diffusion is defined as the net movement of molecules or atoms from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. Our target is to emit colorful gases to show the mass transfer by process of diffusion. Nitrogen gas is produced by the reaction of copper with nitric acid. As this gas is brown in color, it is easy to observe the gas diffusion. This kind of a diffusion is called a molecular diffusion. Nitric acid needed for the production of nitrogen dioxide is produced by reacting ammonium nitrate with concentrated hydrochloric acid. This evolves ammonium chloride gas which we can observe as a white fog. As we supply heat for this reaction, the diffusion is an eddy diffusion. Let's begin. Ammonium nitrate, hydrochloric acid, copper pieces are required for this experiment. We have used several glass wires to set up the apparatus which you can see later. First, we have washed and dried the instruments. Reaction of ammonium nitrate and hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid is added to solid ammonium nitrate which is in the boiling tube. After reaction with hydrochloric acid and ammonium nitrate, we can see nitric acid is produced with brown color. And also, through the liquid and test tube, a little bit of fog is going to upward direction. To increase amount of ammonium chloride product, we heat ammonium nitrate solution by using Bunsen burner. Next, we can see emitted ammonium chloride fog goes along the thin pipe. This is one of an example for eddy diffusion and molecular diffusion. Observe the reaction between nitric acid and pure copper. Due to toxicity of nitrogen dioxide gas, the practical is performed inside a fume hood. From this reaction, brown color nitrogen dioxide gas is produced. Here we add some copper phases into the nitric acid formed. We get to know whether the reaction is taking place. When we add copper pieces into the test tube, the nitric acid is changed into green color. Now, we can see the brown color nitrogen dioxide gas is formed inside the test tube. If you observe well, you will be able to see the gas is slowly moving in the upward direction inside the test tube. Since this here we add some more copper pieces into the test tube in order to observe a faster mass transfer. Therefore, the gas is moving faster than before. We can observe that the nitrogen dioxide gas is moving throughout the entire test tube and it's spreading all over. 